Okay, now I Ben Shabibo transphobia hour is now upon us, so get ready, buckle up. I would be remiss today if I did not discuss one of the great issues of our time. And that is that the actress Ellen Page, who is, was, and shall remain a woman, is now a man. So let me read you the headline from CNN, which conveys zero information. Right? We have now been forced as a society to simply say nonsense, to simply just say things that are nonsense, that don't make any sort of logical sense, that don't actually translate from English to reason. Okay, so here is the headline, and you tell me if you know what the, what the hell this means. Okay, ready? Elliot Page, Juno star, shares transgender identity. Do you have any idea what that means? Like, seriously, do you have any idea what that means? When I first saw the headline, Elliot Page, I thought, whoa, Ellen has a brother? No, it turns out that Ellen Page is now identifying as Elliot Page. And the media, instead of saying, here's a headline with content, Ellen Page announces she identifies as man, wishes to be called Elliot Page. Right, now I would have the whole story. But Elliot Page, Juno star, conveys nothing because Ellen Page was the star of Juno. So I'm like, wait, was her brother in that movie? Like, I don't even know what you're talking about right now. Because the media have created this bizarre standard whereby if a person declares themselves a member of the opposite gender, the entire world, especially in the media, must immediately... This is my favorite type of analysis because it's literally like, it's like a kid. You know, when you're, when you know better as a child, but you want to kind of be bad. So you like, you'll say like, puck you instead of fuck you. You know what I mean? Like, you're like, hoo hoo. Like, I got away with it. Like, I got away with, like, being bad. I said, fuck you. What do you mean? That's exactly what Ben's doing here. Which, like, I don't really understand what's going on. I mean, is it Ellen Page? Is it Elliot Page? I just don't understand. I was confused. I thought it was his brother. It's like, oh, motherfucker. Like, if you were confused, you would not have made an entire nine-minute video about how fucking uh, grossed out you are that, like, a, a trans human being exists on the planet. Okay? At this stage, I think we have all developed a better understanding of trans existence. Like, Trans acceptance is becoming more and more mainstream. It's, of course, not fully there yet. There's still a lot of problems, especially at the legislative level. It's really horrible. But Ben basically is like trying to intellectualize the uh, stupidity that his audience has, right? His own, his entire goal is like to just say, oh, this is crazy. I don't understand. Hypothetically speaking, we've just gone way too far. It's crazy. I don't want to understand it. All he's doing is just like make other people who also feel that way. They were like, ah, I don't fucking understand it. Trans people, what the fuck? Like all he's doing is, is giving those people an outlet where a fucking nerd who speaks very fast is also agreeing with them. Like that's it. Now, listen, Ellen Page can identify however she wants. I don't care. L really, it makes no difference to me. She is an adult human. She can do Again, purposely misgendering someone, okay? He's doing this on purpose. So if you're a trans person in my audience and you're like, fuck this piece of shit, remember that, like, he's literally doing that on purpose because he knows that, like, this is a, a trans man. So he has to remind yourself that he has to deliberately misgender someone. And that comes along with the implication that like, they know what the what the correct gender is. He's just a baby. Ben Shabibo, Ben Shababy. So don't be upset. He he is just like forced to fucking say it wrong because he's just a piece of shit. Even if someone's like, you know what? I don't want to go by my first name. I'm going to change my first name. I'm no longer Hassan, I'm Hank. If you went and you did that, like... <laughs> Anyone who's like, no, I'm still going to call you Hassan. You're Hassan in my mind. You're Hassan, hypothetically. You're not allowed to change your name. It doesn't matter. No, 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 boo-boo. You're still Hassan. Everyone would be like, dude, you're an asshole. <laughs> like, why are you doing this? Like, that person changing his name has nothing to do with you. Why have you made this your own personal business? Why can't you be a normal human being? But no, like, because it's a trans person that we're talking about, because as a concept, this is like something that needs to be endlessly pontificated over and endlessly discussed, then our bigotry and our biases and our fears, because gender is so closely associated with our identities, comes to the forefront, and then, and then you're like, this is a legitimate intellectual conversation. And then you you try to justify it to yourself about a million different reasons when the entire reason is fear fear of change and fear of not understanding what is going on uh as, as the world evolves around you however it being a free country i am also free to point out that ellen page is was and shall remain a woman because ellen page is in fact a woman now i'm happy to call ellen page elliot if she wants to be called elliot because people change their names all the time and you can in fact change your name by declaration you cannot however change your sex by declaration <laughs> <laughs> the legality Trump's morality argument is so good. It's like, I can't take Curtis. This is a Felix line, uh, Biederman of Trap with Trap House, where he says like, libertarians are the most annoying rule abiding rule breakers of all time. It's like, well, legally, technically, actually, hypothetically, uh, uh, you can't change your name. You can change your name by, uh, 
mandate or whatever the fuck. But also, you can't do that. You can't do that for your sex. So, no, I will change. I will call you by your right name, but not going to do that right now because hypothetically, I'm making an argument currently. Okay, so if you legally could change your sex, then are you fine? Are you going to fucking abide by that too? No. You're not, because you're a fucking piece of shit. You're just using legality as a, as a, well, first of all, can't you legally change your sex? I thought you could, by the way. So, so what's up? <laughs> you can, I literally did. Uh, Ben Shabibo, actually, actually, sir, uh. Ellen Page declared that she is now a man, okay? But, but she also- Look, 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 he's doing it. Every time he says she, notice he like has to take like a quick breath just so he can misgender listen brother if you truly don't care you don't make a nine minute video out of this where you're like trying to emphasize the she every time you reference a, a trans man like a person who doesn't care does not do that what did i do okay we found out elliot page uh, comes out as a as a uh trans man what did i do i was like oh congratulations great moved on with my life ben shapiro has made videos on it where he's like we need to talk about this. This is terrible. I mean, he's not a he. He's a she. Ah, fuck. You only do this if you care. <laughs> okay. Also declared that she is a queer man. Now, this is confusing because if she were a queer man, this would mean that she is attracted to men, which would technically mean that she's a straight woman, right? <laughs> because if she is a, an actual <laughs> woman attracted to men. <laughs> this shit is already kind of confusing. Okay. Especially if you're like a cishet. If you're a disgusting breeder cishet like me, I'm already like, I've lost the plot. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I, I don't know who's fucking what and what the designation is. When you try to like revert it back to your fucking traditionalist point of view, you're adding literally an additional inverse of what is correct, what is currently occurring. You're making it harder for yourself. Just fucking try to recognize what's happening in front of you as it is. If you're having a hard time with it, then like why add an additional layer to make the system more complicated, the process more complicated? According to Wikipedia, in, in, in January 2018, Page publicly announced his marriage to dancer and choreographer Emma oh no, he accidentally correctly gendered him. Oh no, does Ben know? Oh no, Ben. Uh oh, oopsie. So this means that Ellen Page is a gay man married to a woman, according to Wikipedia, which makes no sense at all, like in any way, shape, or form. And you're expected to simply mirror this. Not only that, the left has particular standards with regard to who gets to play parts in. I know he's he's reading it. I know, I know. It was a joke, chat. Why do we need to listen to him say so much bullshit about men or women? He is a dick. <laughs> True. I just like, I like, who cares? Why can't we let people live? I feel like Ben said that in the beginning, but then he's like, I'm going to purposely convolute this entire conversation and process. Hypothetically. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. This is my favorite clip. Transgender. Are you kidding me? This is my favorite fucking clip. I I I've used this before in my videos. Transgender woman from uh, Orange is the New Black. I never watched that show. I've never watched that show either, but she's on the cover of Time Magazine. Oh. Or he's on the cover of Time Magazine. Like, that's it. That's at the heart of how vicious he is a vicious person. Like, he's a cruel person. He's a bad person. He's not a good person. But there you go. It, it doesn't get any better than that. Like, in his own accidental words, like, that's it. He basically just fucking accidentally gave the game away. That gender is, without a single doubt, a social construct. And it's something that we, in our current understanding, which needs to evolve as well, but, it's, but even in our current understanding, we look at gender as a social construct and we look at uh, identifiers to determine what someone's gender is. And that still needs to be evolved as well. And it, that's not the, the fucking latest patch, right? And more patches are to come. But Ben Shabibo shows that while aggressively arguing against it. He's basically being a piece of shit uh for for monetary compensation and this doesn't mean that like people sometimes fuck up and, and misgender others and that you know they need to go to jail for it or whatever fucking psychotic conspiracy that uh conservatives uh create it, it's just about being nice and accepting to people who are otherwise already going through a, a tough time it just sucks it sucks you're you're a piece of shit in movies so for example Ellen Page, now now Elliot Page. I'm saying Ellen Page not because I wish to offend Elliot Page, but because until five seconds ago, nobody had ever heard of Elliot Page. So nobody knows who the hell I'm talking about. So I'm going to use the name that people know her as. And then over time, if you want to call it Elliot Page, that's fine. But for like today, I feel like it's fair to mention that Ellen Page and Elliot Page are the same person. So that if somebody tunes in and hears Elliot Page, they don't think Ellen has a brother. Bargaining. We're in the second stage. You notice that he went from denial to bargaining? We're watching him come to terms. It it's so funny. This is something that personally displeases him. To a degree, he has to do an entire video about it. 
But now he's like, now maybe hypothetically one day I'll change my mind on it. But like right now for the time being, like he's trying to justify it. <laughs> like what happened, brother? Don't worry. It doesn't. I think maybe Ben jerked off the Juno or something. And now he's like worried that this means he's gay. <laughs> That's why he's so mad. Oh, don't worry, dude. It doesn't work that way. Okay. <laughs> How do you get so bent over other people's businesses, dude? Like what the fuck, dude? Here's the headline from TV Insider. Elliot Page reportedly cont to continue in same role on Umbrella Academy. Now, Umbrella Academy on Netflix, uh, it started off that the series itself is based on a comic book. In the comic book, Ellen Page, who again is a woman, and is in the series a cisgender woman, right? Like a woman who is a woman, is a uh, is a straight woman in the first season. In the second season, Ellen Page becomes a lesbian because Ellen Page is a lesbian in real life, I guess. Um, I mean, I assume that's... This is the, the age-old argument that, like, you can perfectly counter uh, reactionaries on, which is, like, they were actors, and they can portray cisgender characters. Like, I thought this is why Scarlett Johansson could be uh, an Asian woman, you know what I mean? Like, well, they're actually actors. Like, how many fucking videos has Ben Shapiro made about, like, well, they're technically actors! They're only pretending! They're actually not... Uh, Hillary Swank was not uh, paralyzed from the neck down, and they're an actress. Ben will defend the fucking death of, like, a white lady taking the role of, like, uh, I don't know, a non-white person, but uh, when it's uh, vice versa, he just fucking loses his shit. Gerard Way will also 100% support and accommodate this in the Umbrella Academy story anyway. Yeah. From purely medical perspectives, a fuck ton of literature about the practicality of gender affirmation therapy and treatments with absolutely nothing saying against it. If nothing else, even if you're... Ben Shapiro and think they're still the gender they were born with. The literature states undeniably the best long-term outcomes occur when preferred gender is affirmed. Yeah, absolutely. Which is, uh, of course, the irony of like virtue signaling, uh, which is like one of the grossest ways that conservatives will virtue signal. They'll say like, well, actually, it's because like uh, fucking they're mentally diseased. That's why we're doing this. Like, because we want to, you know, it's like, OK, yeah, you're you're doing a good job helping trans people by being like super unaccommodating and like, like exacerbating their, their dysphoria if they feel it. Great, great stuff. It's definitely, this is definitely how you operate in, in a normal way. It right, has something to do with how Ellen Page wanted to act because my understanding is that's not something directly from the comic book series. If it is, forgive me, that's fine, who cares? Okay, but here's the part that's hilarious. So according to Variety, they say there are no plans to change the character Ellen Page plays her, her gender on the Umbrella Academy. So the series is publicly showing their support and... They say they are proud of their superhero. We love you, Elliot. But Elliot will be playing a woman. Now, I've been firmly informed that this is discrimination and cultural appropriation. Oh, come on, dude. This is, I'm glad that I already gave this argument. Okay, good. So there's no reason to go over it again, but the difference between like uh, a trans person uh, wanting to play a trans role or even like there was a, a an additional controversy around like Sia and I think like uh, someone who is not neuroatypical playing the role of like uh, someone with autism. The reason why people want more representation in Hollywood, despite the fact that it's a, it's a narrow narrow scope like it is a limited argument it is a limited argument like oscar so white is is still uh inherently a narrow argument that that does not immediately address all the fucking problems or even a, a more significant part of it is it neurodivergent i didn't say it right okay sorry um not neurotypical so there's a difference between like a marginalized an actor from a marginalized background wanting to play or, or fill a role or even like wanting to have like lived experience in circumstances where you're writing about like a, a trans experience or something like that is entirely different than like a trans person portraying a cis person. When Scarlett Johansson, a straight woman, was slated to play a transgender man in a movie, this was considered very, very bad form. In fact, only trans people could play trans characters. So I have a question. If Elliot Page is in fact a man, I knew the way it. that the media have declared that she is a man, then why is she allowed to play a cisgender woman? Is that not cultural appropriation? If a, if a normal non-trans man decided to play a woman today, everybody would suggest- Did he motherfucker say normal? The fuck is that, dude? Oh, Jesus Christ. My man literally doing reverse transphobia. <laughs> reverse cisphobia. Actually, the real problem in society today is cisophobia. This is why I laugh whenever, whenever white people are like, you're being racist. <laughs> You're being raised against, hypothetically, you're being raised against white people, and you would never be able to do this against black people. Suggest that this was a violation of long-standing norms. It was cultural appropriation. But if a woman declares herself a man, 
then you have to make a choice. Either she is a man, in which case she can't play a woman anymore, or she is not a man, in which case she's not a man. But because our culture is unbelievably stupid, it is both, right? That is the way that this works. So good news, Elliot Page can still play women and also can play transgender men, presumably can also play men men, which is really exciting. One further note on all of this. If you What's the fear here? Do you think that like there is going to be an influx of trans men that like, I don't know, take jobs away from cis men and cis women or something like you feel like this is crazy and that this is being crammed down on you. That is because it is. That is because this is not a fringe phenomenon anymore. Right. This is something the Democratic Party fully embraces and pushes. Yesterday, Chuck Schumer, the Senate minority leader, he said that he is fully with Joe Biden on mandating from the federal government that transgender people be allowed to use the bathroom of their choice. Now, it seems to me that if my wife is uncomfortable with... Dude, 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 dude. Listen, I'm sorry. No matter how like uh, like strange it might come across to you that like trans people exist or something because, you know, you haven't been able to fucking keep up with the times, right? And you have like an antiquated brain. Nothing is weirder than the obsession that anti-trans folks have with seeing people's dicks and pussies. Like, they want to inspect everybody's uh, the private parts, dude. It's so weird. It's like, dude, I am personally ashamed of what I do in the bathroom. Ben Shapiro is constantly thinking about it. Constant. Actually, that's not true. Sometimes you take a big shit and you're like, fuck yeah. Like, that's, you know what I'm talking about? And you're like, I did that. But usually, like, I don't, like, I, don't, I can't even be naked when I'm pooping. I've talked to you guys about this before and you guys fucking... I think that that's weird. Like if I'm if I'm naked in bed and if, I, if I'm going to use the bathroom, like I literally put on clothes. It's weird to, to poop naked. I find it very strange. Maybe there's a profound sense of shame there. I don't know what it is, but you know, the stuff that I do in the bathroom, I don't want anyone to know. And honestly, like that's all these motherfuckers think about. Like literally just, just like, uh, what's happening? What are trans people doing in the bathroom? I need to know. It's like, dude, why don't you just fucking mind your business? You fucking freak. That is the weirdest thing that you can do is constantly fucking trying to figure figure out like if the person in the bathroom with you has a penis or a vagina, like <laughs> fucking leave them be. A male walking into a bathroom or a locker room where she is undressing at the gym, that that is perfectly within her purview. That seems like not inappropriate at all to me. But the federal government has now decided under democratic auspices that men and women are exactly the same. That gender is completely fluid. None of this makes any internal sense, by the way. If men and women are completely same, the same, there's no reason for, yourself, for you to declare yourself a man. They're, man equals woman means woman equals woman. What? I, I think he, he doesn't, he's not being accidentally based. He's doing that thing where he, he's saying something, but doing it with a critical tone. So you're supposed to understand that he's, you know, saying something silly. <laughs> like Lighting the democratic agenda, which is fully in line with all of this, this silliness and anti-logic nonsense. And again, Ellen Page or Elliot Page is allowed to do whatever she wants to do today, but she does not get to dictate what the rest of us say about things as basic as biological sex and capital T truth. Okay, but here is, uh, here's the Democrat. Capital T truth, dude. Here's the truth, okay? One, what have we established? Ben cranked it out like fat loads to Juno, okay? That's the capital T truth. Ben now feels some type of way about it because of his own pea-brained understanding of gender, which is sometimes a complicated concept. So, you know, if he wasn't such a fucking horrific shit lord, I would be, uh, I would give him the, the, the benefit of a doubt, but like, he's very clearly a, a, a professional shit lord. But let's keep going. Eric Party pushing this stuff. Joe Biden said that on his first day of office, he will give transgender students access to sports, bathrooms, and locker rooms in accordance with their gender identity in all federally funded schools. Do you think he has the ability to do this? And do you agree with this decision? I agree with the decision, and I know he'll check things out thoroughly legally. Okay, um, I'm sure that this will all work out just fantastically well. I'm sure, and, and don't feel bullied. Don't feel as though you are being forced to change long-standing and for all of human history held opinions about the non-malleability of sex. Uh, it, it is all because you're discriminatory in your mind. Don't worry about the fact that this is all illogical and makes no sense. The media have told you that a thing is so, and therefore it is so. And therefore, and, and also, if you, if you mention it, it's because you are, it's because you're obsessed with these issues. This is one of my favorites. Is that you say something as radical as men. Yeah. No, but like literally, like who cares? Why? What is going to happen to you? What's going to happen to you personally or your children? By the way, this is exactly the same argument against uh, homosexuality. Ben is literally relitigating uh, the the 2000 uh, era arguments that he had against gay people 
But now that it's unacceptable to be homophobic on on his main account, he has moved away from that to, in a way, it's very woke, postmodern, if you will, that uh, conservatives are so quick to drop uh, their their causes once it it, it becomes mainstream. But uh, yeah, he, he's just doing that same thing to trans people, which is, uh, you know, well, other people are going to be trans if they see trans people. He's like, that's not how this works. If people turned gay by seeing it, the homosexuals, one, you literally can't litigate against that. Like, what are you going to make it? You're going to ban homophobia, like public displays of affection amongst the, you know, same-sex individuals? That would be ridiculous. And, and two, more importantly, like, wouldn't that cancel each other out with all the fucking heterosexual agitprop that we experience on a daily basis. All right, did I say ban homophobia? I said uh, ban homosexuality. Yeah, like if you're turning gay by seeing gay people, then brother, I think you were gay. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with that. You should maybe you should maybe make life easier for yourself by by accepting it. Men and women are exactly the same, and a man can become a woman. And then I say no. And they're like, why are you even paying attention to this? Why are you even making an issue out of this? I'm not. You guys are. I'm sorry, but you purveyors of, of new truths that have nothing to do with science, logic, reason. The answer is no. Logic and reason, dude. <laughs> uh, debate lords are subhuman. I'm serious, dude. I am going to logically deduce and use facts and logic and reason to, to deny the existence of trans people. Okay, good, good. All right, got it, dude. The answer is no, I do not go along with your, with your mandatory take on the world. And I don't think Americans should either. That's not an excuse for being nasty to people. It's not an excuse for discrimination. It is a recommendation that we all speak real truths when they are available. And it happens to be a real truth that Elliot Page is, was, and will remain a woman, even if Elliot Page believes that she is a man. And you're under no obligation, moral or otherwise, to suggest that men can become women or to teach that to your children, which is really what the left wants out of this whole deal. Teach that Did to you your know children. That like, this is the same argument used against black people getting equality. My wife is uncomfortable with black person in a restroom. You can't force me to believe these people are equal in humans. Yeah, <laughs> my man. After all of that, he goes, Ben is right. Okay, dude. Didn't Ben write an article about how talking about gay people at colleges will make people gay? Yeah, he did. He wrote an article about how uh, your son's going to turn uh, homosexual because he took a, an English class on gay lit. He did do that, by the way. Just for the record, he literally wrote that article. But like back in the early 2000s when people were popping off, you know, that was content, baby. That was that was fun. That I, I think that that was, that was crazy. First of all, 26,000 people, no transphobia or, or very little transphobia in the chat while covering a trans topic. Good job. Pat yourselves on the back community it's bottom of the barrel stuff but still important to recognize that's one two i just i think it's it's funny like he the way that he is fearful of the existence of trans people is 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 funny to me he, he's just so terrified of things changing once you start recognizing that like a lot of this rhetoric is completely fear-based it changes the dynamic a little bit because in that fear there's a legitimization you wouldn't fear something that you don't consider to be legitimate you would not fear something that is illegitimate Just getting through the chat a trans discussion with no transphobia perhaps entitle each chatter to one comment of shittery each during a future game session no oh here this is what i was gonna watch uh I forgot to watch this on why the judge said no Tavarius, is everything okay okay my government leaders have abandoned me. Are you, are you the 